All right, we want to solve linear program example one. So here is the setup where we're trying to create two types of tables, country and contemporary. They each have a profit margin on them, or a revenue margin rather, $350 and $450. <clears throat> and management has a re restraint on us that they want 20% country and 30% contemporary. So for this example, first write out the linear program and let's solve it in Excel. So if you write out the linear program, it looks like this where x1 is the number of country tables, x2 is the number of contemporary tables, our objective function is to maximize the revenue, and now we have five constraints. We have the router constraint, the sander constraint, and the polisher constraint. These three are similar to the ones we've had before, all right, where we've had to be under a certain amount. Now the next, the management constraints are these next two, and what this says is the number of tables you make, x1, needs to be greater than or equal to 20% of the total number of tables which is x1 plus x2. And then x, and let me change this, should be x2, needs to be greater than or equal to 30% of the total number of tables we make, and that's contemporary constraint. And so that's our linear program. That's the part what we're going to try to put into Excel. So here's my exec, ex, a blank Excel spreadsheet. All right, and so with this, what I want to set up is the number, so let's call this country tables, call this contemporary, and this is the number of, so this is the number I'm making of both country and contemporary, and so these two cells right here are going to be my x's. There is x1 and x2, x1 and x2. And then the revenue mod I get for each from each one is going to be 350 for country and 450 for contemporary. So therefore my total revenue is equal to, I'm going to do the sum product on this one, which means I highlight these two cells, comma, I highlight my x1, x2, and I anchor those. So that's going to say b4 times b2 plus c4 times c2 which will give me 350x1 plus 450x2. And this cell right here, I'm going to highlight in green because that is my objective function. And now for constraints, I have different constraints. So one is I have the router constraint. I have the sander and the polisher constraints. These are ones that we've seen before. For a country table, it takes one and a half hours, three hours, two and a half hours. It takes two, 4.5, 1.5. Okay, and this is time used, time available. So the amount of time available, I have 1,000 hours here, 2,000 hours here, and 1,500 hours here. The amount of time used is going to be 1.5x1 plus 2x2. So I can actually just copy this and put that all the way down. And I'm going to highlight these in orange. All right, so now I'm going to review. So here's what we have so far. Looking at my examples, oops, is I've defined my variables, I have my objective function, and I have these first three constraints. And now I need to add these next constraints. Okay, so do the next constraints. I'm going to set up what I call the management constraint. And this is here, what we're going to call the percent required. So for country tables, we need 20%. And for contemporary tables, we need 30%. And I'm going to change those into percentages. OK. And so now we have the number required, which is now going to equal 20% times x1 plus x2. Now let's add a multiplication there. So it's 20% times x1 plus x2 equals 30% times x1 plus x2. We need the parentheses. And now we're going to change these into numbers. Okay, and that's the number required. And so I'm going to highlight these in orange. 
And so my x1 needs to be greater than or equal to this number right here. So now I go to solver. I'm on to maximize total revenue by changing x1 and x2. Add that these three are all less than or equal to those three. And then add that x1 and x2 are going to be greater than or equal to the number required percent. Okay, and I'm going to switch this to simplex LP. I solve. And here we get the solution that solves for it. I'm now going to run my sensitivity report. I'm going to grab these shadow prices real quick. And so now I can go through, and here I'm just going to round these all to whole numbers. Okay, so even though it's not decimal places, we're going to call it a whole number. 406 country tables, 174 contemporary tables. I've met the minimum requirement of each one, meaning that it's required I have 116 country. I have a lot more than that. It's required I have 174 contemporary, and I'm exactly at that. And so when we look at our shadow price, if the company comes back and says, we need you to produce more country tables, we want more than 20% required or more than 116, that's not a problem. Because if they say we want this number to be 200, well, we're producing 406, so that's going to have zero impact on our revenue. But now if they say we want more contemporary tables, so we want to go from 174 to 175, that's going to reduce our revenue by $65. Likewise, if we reduce the amount of required from 174 to 173, that would re increase our revenue by $65.22. Now, if I look over at our other constraints, so I'm not using all my routing hours, I'm not using all my polishing hours, and so therefore those shadow prices are zero and zero, but I am using all my sander hours. So if you give me one more hour on sanding, then I can increase my revenue by $110. And where this can be very useful is in consulting. So let's suppose that these are hours workers working on each machine. So with this, as I can say, well, let's reduce the number of workers on a polisher from 1500 down to 1275 and put all of those workers on sander that would increase my revenues so simply by reallocating the resources i can increase revenues and so here <clears throat> we have is if i were to decrease the polisher by 224 that's within my allowable decrease that's not going to affect my revenues i put those 224 hours right here I'd have to rerun it, but at least the first 90 hours would be 90 times 110, and that's going to increase my revenues by quite a bit. So I can use the shadow prices to reallocate resources accordingly.